Hi everyone! For today, I'm going to share with you the case of Ponce de Leon versus Rehabilitation Finance Corporation or known as Development Bank of the Philippines today. So there were a lot of issues regarding this um case. Meron tayong Article 1169. Meron din tayong, if I understood it right, Mora Acceptindi. Ayan. So, merong offer dito si debtor, pero nag-reject si creditor. But, I'm just going to focus on um our topic, Article 1174, which is the fortuitous event or event could not be foreseen or which though foreseen was inevitable under Article 1174. So, to start with, um, Ponce de Leon, the petitioner here, uh, together with Francisco Soriano, the third plaintiff party here, no? Pero, pero dito kasi namatay si uh, Francisco Soriano, so ang naging, ang nagrepresent anak sa kanya is yung mga anak niya. Okay, so Ponce de Leon and Francisco Soriano went to PNB and they were able to obtain a loan, okay? And naka-obtain sila ng loan because nagkaroon sila ng um, Francisco Soriano own a parcel of land, yun yung ginawa nilang collateral. Now, after uh, na-release yung loan nila, itong si Ponce de Leon pumunta kay PNB, ah, uh, RFC rather, sorry. Pumunta siya kay RFC and then uh, he applied for an industrial loan amounting to 800,000 pesos and yes, he was approved ang ginawa nila is that uh, the parcel of land that they mortgage to uh, PNB is the same parcel of land that they mortgage to secure the loan under RFC. So, ang nangyari, before i-release ni RFC yung amount na ni loan nila, ay binayaran muna nila, nila lahat ng pagkakautang ni Dinyon. So, binayaran nila yung balance nila kay PNB. So, tapos na lahat doon. Now, to cut the story short, it came to a point that Dinyon wasn't able to pay his obligation na nagdo na. Okay? So, nagkaroon ng demand from RFC. However, uh, Dillion failed to um, comply. Now, uh, nagkaroon ng foreclosure proceedings regarding doon sa parcel and it is where Ponce Dillion uh, filed a complaint against RFC. Ang sabi niya, merong fortuitous event na nangyari sa akin. Um, hindi ko na foreseen, nakaroon ng bagyo, nasira yung mga sawmills ko, nasira yung mga equipments ko, hindi ba dapat binigyan nyo ako ng extension para makapagbayad sa inyo, hindi ba dapat my liability should be extinguished dahil for tutus event yun according to article um, 74 kapag ka ganun, I should be given a, an extension or dapat ma-extinguish yung liability ko, sabi niya however, the court said that um the plaintiff cannot avail the uh, benefits of this provision ng 1174 since he was not bound to deliver the aforementioned sawmill. So, sabi ni Supreme Court, hindi naman yung sawmill at saka equipments na nasira ang hinihingi sa yun ni RFC. As a debtor, you have the obligation to pay your loan in 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 form of money so hindi equipment ang hinihingi ni RFC sa iyo na i-fulfill kundi yung pera na ni loan mo na sinabi mo that the purpose of your loan is to buy those equipments so you have the obligation to pay your debt to RFC so Sabi ni Supreme Court, there was an obligation on the part of the debtor to pay his loan independently of the purpose for which the money loan was intended to be used and this obligation to pay continues to subsist notwithstanding the fact that it may have become impossible for the debtor to use the money loan for the particular purpose that was intended. And so, there is no ground for declaring the amortizations due on the principal loan since October 1952 as extinct due to fortuitous event or to grant plaintiff a reasonable time to pay the two amortizations as asked for by Ponce de Leon in his complaint. So, as what I've understood um, the case, um, there are, um, there are, eto, so, ang nangyari dito, um, sa naiintindihan ko is that fortuitous event plus negligence of the debtor. So, sabi niya, obligation is still existing. So, there, uh, yes, totoong nagkaroon ng bagyo, nasira yung mga um, equipments niya. However, um, hindi naman yung equipments ang hinihingi ni RFC, kundi ang hinihingi ni RFC is to fulfill um, the obligation, ma-fulfill ni debtor yung obligation niya to pay uh, pagkakautang niya in the form of money. So, therefore, um, walang karapatan na mag-avail si plaintiff ng benefits ng Article 11 
74. Thank you.